Hello there, it's the 7th of August 2022. A very strange summer um, this year for Japanese maples, not just in the UK but globally as well. We have several trees, just like many of our friends in our Japanese maple group on Facebook, who have seen autumn colours from basically June, early June onwards. This is Asa Palmeta Mo Sakazuki. And it should basically still be dark green at this stage of the year. But it's been red now since early June. As well as a few other trees. Now I'll show you them in a second. Um, the reason for this is possibly, well it's probably, most probably weather related. But the possible cause is, is obviously hard to define. Um, this year I've been told from a good friend in our group that the UV light from the sun has been quite high this year and I've also been told the other day about a lot of solar flares from the sun as well this summer so whether these are having an impact on the light and the chemical makeup of the leaves I'm not sure but it's most likely the case Osakazuki here it always suffers some leaf issues sometimes a lot of dryness. We've seen a lot of a lot of problems this year with that a lot of maple keepers have had is, is dry leaves. And again this has got to be linked basically to the moisture balance, uh, oxygen balance in the, the, the root system or the, the the fact of the the same factors are, are turning the leaves more autumn colours than keeping them in their summer colours. So there's a lot of strange things been going on. Um, here's a palmatum dissectum surya at the back. That's got a little bit red, but not much. That's a normal colour. Here's a palmatum yuanayama there. Now this tree um, last year was in the sun, full sun, and it picked up some red just like this. So I'm not sure that's been affected greatly either. The Osakasuki is one of the main ones and a neighbouring cat near haven't tried to ask me for something to it so that's quite red again a couple of issues with autumn moon dry leads had these for a good few weeks now and these have just started, these here have just started in the past week. Now this, this section up here was starting to die off about a month ago. Um, this crispiness has been quite slow. It's extended down to a little section here and then in the past week here as well. So whether this is a water issue and I might have been given it a little bit too much water, I'm not sure. Um, the rest of the tree seems okay. So I don't think it's a, a watering problem. I think it's just literally that section oh, there's a little bit underneath here as well sorry there mid sort of area of the tree so I'll keep an eye on that yes I palmate and dissect a member of lace that's took on quite a lot of, of red um, it has been getting a little bit more sun this year because it's been potted it was several foot to the left in a little bit more shade. Yes, a palmate of orange drain. That's picking up a lot of red, but again, this is quite normal for late summer. Um, these pale parts have really been popping out this week. With that orange drain, they're very similar colours. Uh, Asa palmatum, sorry, Asa shraswanum moonrise there. Uh, it's picked up a lot of reds in the last couple of weeks. Now, it usually holds its colour of its greens until at least September. Apart from a few blushes of colour here and there, but those leaves, leaves sorry, those red leaves are quite prominently one-toned. Asa palmatum. Uh, Sukasa silhouette here, picking up a lot of red to the top of the tree. And the Asa palmatum dissector membrane, a little potted one, 
this one always picks up a lot of heavy heavy red blushes so that's not unusual one of our this uh, Japonica Maconic Nephorum is here the ground tree is picking up a lot of blush of the darker red again that's sort of normal for this tree in the, the summer it has suffered from a lot of brownness to the top of the tree which it hasn't done for a few years as you can see the leaves are quite damaged here so there's a lot of leaves on the top of the tree and the sort of sides that are exposed more to the the wind and the sun but overall the tree's doing okay so I'm not too concerned about the, the brown leaves on the top And if I show you the potted Aconic Defolium, now this has been the worst affected for the autumn, the early autumn colour change. As you can see, these leaves now, although it's the, only the 7th of August, are nearly all fully red. Now this colour you would not see until well into next month. There's still little bits of green here and there. It's a palmate and phoenix has picked up a lot of sort of red blushes as well. Garnet is normally red so there's nothing to worry about. Again a lot of crispiness to some of the leaves this year. Um, this has been a constant battle with this tree uh, every year. The last couple of years I haven't done too badly with it. Uh, I've tried to avoid this brownness. It's either, what counts for this is either too much moisture in the ground or not enough water and I, I think it's possibly too much uh, water, too much moisture. Uh, the winds, when you have a lot of winds, especially warm winds, the leaves can dry out. So you, you sort of try to compensate that. But that balance is quite tricky. But never mind, the leaves will come back perfectly next spring. Uh, this is Ace of Palmate and Red Wine. It's in full sun, so it's it's turned quite, quite red. Again, fairly early for this tree. Yes, a palmate and Benny Mako, this tiny little one which we nearly lost. That's been all red now for several weeks. Now that would really be a, a green colour again. Although the tree looks nice, it's I would rather prefer to see it green until at least September. But it's just one of those strange phenomenons that it's just a natural occurrence for whatever reason. Like we said, it'll be down to the weather of some sorts. Also worth noting as well is the Econite Folium started dropping its seeds uh, about three, four weeks ago. And I've kept a lot of them in here just to, to show you for the video. Some of the ground here. Now it's still holding some of them. But it's lost a, a large percentage of its leaves. Sorry, it's uh, seeds. Now I don't suppose these are fully formed because normally these would drop until uh, late September, October. Uh, Connie Folium usually drops its leaves fairly early for us. All the seeds look fairly developed inside there. Um, but it's very early to drop its leaves. Also worth noting as well as uh, the Connie Foliums and, and a few other trees as well, and I'll show you in a second, have been dropping random leaves for at least two, three months now. And I'll show you the other tree where 
it's much more of a problem. As you can see, the ground is literally covered in fallen leaves. This one's been decayed for some weeks. This one's more recent. Uh, Good green. This one's been affected. This one usually does okay for us, but as you can see, it's got a, a couple of brown leaf issues there. Um, this one was been dropping leaves. Uh, I think the little butterfly tree here that's been dropping a few as well. But your contifolium, as you can see, it's been dropping leaves for several weeks now. And it did this um, last year during a very hot spell where the temperature rose quite high for about three days. And the tree dropped a lot of leaves that week and on and off for the rest of the year. But this dropping of leaves again this year has, has happened more on the tree. Although it's it's still quite full, it's not it's nothing I'm concerned about. Uh, if I can show you next door's very mature large silver birch trees. Now these drop leaves constantly, and I'll show you here. These are leaves from the, the large silver birch. Now these trees drop leaves throughout the, the sort of late spring, summer, into the autumn. So it's obviously a natural occurrence that tr trees are drop leaves. Uh, this is Asa palmatum katsura here. Now this is another one that's dropped a lot of a lot of leaves for the last couple of months. Um, the tree itself is doing okay. It has a few leaf issues of browning the leaves. Possibly a mould issue I've been told. But it's grown a lot this year. Um, the silver birch do weep a lot in these dry spells. Uh, it's an upright tree, this one, as you can see. There's a lot of branches really weeping down there. It's because we haven't had a great deal of rain. So they do suffer a little bit, and I think they drop more leaves during the drought periods as well. So it's something you just watch and study and see how it goes. That's a few issues that happen, might have happened to your trees and you wonder what they are. It's all weather related and it's just something to keep an eye on and you'll probably see it again in the future at some point. Anyway, I hope hope that helps a few issues in the video. Sorry for your for your trees and the video has covered a, a couple of little little points. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'll uh, catch you in the next videos. Take care and enjoy your maples. Enjoy the rest of your summer.